Avogadro's law is the relationship between volume and moles of the gas. This is done when pressure and temperature are held constant, so we're only watching two variables. What Avogadro found is as the increased the number of moles, the volume increased. If you decrease the number of moles, the volume decreases. This is a directly proportional relationship, which we can also write as volume divided by moles is equal to a constant. That's not very useful by itself, but we can use the initial measurement to help us predict a final measurement. So V1 over N1 equals V2 over N2 is our law as we use it. N is moles, and V just has to be matching units for volume. They don't have to be any specific. Uh, volume units. So let's uh, do a problem here. So we have um, 0.75 moles of hydrogen gas occupying 2.25 liters. If we increase the moles up to 2 moles, what will be the new volume at the same temperature and pressure? So we're looking for volume. So we solve the equation for volume. We're going to put in our volume. Now we'll do our final moles of the initial moles. It's all set up, so we run it to our calculator, and we end up with a volume of six liters. So we put liters in, we get liters out. So let's try a different problem now. So now we have a balloon that uh, has a volume of 5.61 liters with 0.25 moles of helium in it. It springs a leak, and after a while, its volume is only 3.79 liters. At the same temperature and pressure, how many moles does it still contain? So we're looking for moles. So we solve the equation for moles, we put in our values. We have our 0.25 moles. Our final volume, 3.79 liters, or the initial of 5.61 liters. Our liters are going to cancel off, giving us moles. We run this through our calculator, and we end up with a 0.169 moles of helium left. 